Hello everyone. We continue to show you programming products made by Macrolab IT company. Today we're going to show you a new feature of Excel, an automation method for attendance recording of employees or by in other words for making timesheets. Now we see the home page of the program. All tools and features with which we work are shown here. If we want to insert auxiliary details in our worksheet, we click on listing button at the left top and see a new sheet appeared at the bottom. Here we can add the employees inserting their ID numbers, names and surnames, or just remove any of them. A separate column is provided for no working days, we will revert to this later. There is also a separate space for dates and times. We will not focus on this very long as this file provides a lot of features but we could not refer to all of them in order to have a compact video showing only essential functions. So automation of this file resolves the following issue. It helps us to keep a timesheet for each employee to have planned and actual results then to make reports based on these details. In order to show the concept, let's look at the example at the bottom of sheet. We see the timesheet for each employee. At the left column, we see days of month. And at the top row, we see hours of work. Here we selected 30 minutes as the time unit. Working hours are marked in white and night hours are dark. The night hours schedule we can change here by choosing another time intervals. While starting creation of timesheet, it looks like this. Then after filling needed information, we see results at the right side. Here we see worked hours of an employee, overnight work hours, overtime worked hours, no working days or holidays, sick leave or just absence. We have filled the table with conditional details so as you can see the final look of the timesheet. At the home page with a separate table, you can find permissible symbols and the program is designed with data validation tool, which will warn us when we enter a figure other than those mentioned in the legend. With this timesheet, we see the planned monthly results. Then clicking on Fact button, we see actual results. If we click on Compare button, we will compare planned and actual results and the difference will appear at the right table. The differences are also marked with the red cells, which more detailed shows what was planned and what actually happened. Next, at the left column we see no working days marked in blue, which we can also arrange in listing sheet. If we change or delay here, then in home page the same changes will be made. Blue marks will disappear and also all calculations at the right table will be updated accordingly. If we return the figures, then the calculations will include those days again. We can also notice that weekends are marked with a different color. All these dynamic tables and tools make their use more comfortable and easy. So we understand that it would be difficult to make all this by hand for each employee. So there is designed auxiliary tools. We should click on create month button. In the appeared window, we should fill the first date of the month we want to create. By the way, if we fill not a first day of month or fill a non-date symbol, the program will warn us about that. After confirming the right date, the program is creating a requested sheet for each employee. As there can be a lot of employees and accordingly a lot of sheets, at the center white area we can find all of them. 
Here we can choose any of them and only these selected ones will appear at the bottom. Practically we get these sheets empty, but we prepared a field figures for this video. At the home page we also have some additional tools. If we want to remove any or several sheets of employees, we should select those sheets and then click on Remove button. If we want to archive any sheet, we click on it and confirm. Here the program is asking to create an archive folder next to this file's location. We have intentionally made a typo in the folder's name in order to check the program and show it to you. The same way works backup and export folders. Even if the user forgets about that, the program will kindly remain. Let's try again. We click on Archive button, choose any of employees and confirm. The action is complete and if we check the folder, we will find the archive document. After that, we can remove the sheet. If we want to back up details of this file, we click on the button at the top and in the same named folder the information is saved. With the same logic we can create a monthly summarized file. We come to export button, confirm the action and within several seconds the previously designed report is exported. Here we find names and surnames of all employees, their ID numbers, worked hours per day, and summarized results. This exported report is saved in export folder we talked about earlier in this video. We think that overall approach is clear to you. You may subscribe to our channels in order not to miss new videos. Thanks for your attention. See you.